Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Hem Ventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India. And it's that time of year again. New Year's is slowly coming towards us and uh, every other ham radio YouTuber does this, so why not me as well? I'm gonna talk about my five top ham radio gadgets of the year. And that might not be gadgets that I bought this year, but it's the gadgets that I really enjoyed using this year. So it's not necessarily gadgets from 2024, although most of them will be, but it's gadgets that I've really enjoyed in 2024. So um, with no further ado, let's go ahead and start the countdown. Number five, and on fifth place of the list, there's something that has made my life a lot easier this year. And strangely enough, it's not a radio, but it's a backpack. And it's, it's this ham radio backpack that AliExpress sponsored me with um, a couple of months ago. But this backpack has been a lifesaver because as you've seen in my review, I'll link it up here and uh, somewhere around here, it's a really great backpack. And if you don't get the links up here, it'll also be linked down below. This backpack is modular and perfect for ham radio. Um, if you want to know more about it though, I'd recommend you to take a look at my video about it. But it's simply a fantastic backpack and I can really, really recommend this. It's going to make your portable operations a lot easier. Although it's a bit heavy, it doesn't have a lot of stuff if you want to go to summits, but for parks in the air and short hikes, it's an awesome backpack. Number four. And for number four, we got something that also makes my life a whole lot easier. And it's kind of a boring product. As um, my buddy Chetil LB4FH said over on his channel when he did his best of 2024 video, the DigiRig is a device that just works. And I use the DigiRig for two things. First of all, I use it for my IC706. Just had a thing here, but it's an IC706 Mark II G. Because that radio doesn't have a sound card, it doesn't have a USB port, it's an old radio. But having the DigiRig, I plug two cables into the DigiRig, plug them into the radio and a single USB cable to the computer, and it's like using a 7300. It's that simple. It's dead simple, and it simply just works. So, on Fourth place is the DigiRig Mobile. I've also used that for my Baofengs to do WinLink on. I'll leave a link up here, down here for that as well. So you can see how to do WinLink on a Baofeng. It's really simple and it just works. It's kind of one of those boring ham radio products that you don't have to fix, you don't have to configure. You plug it in and it works. So the DigiRig is on fourth place. And speaking about the DigiRig, the radio I mostly use my DigiRig for, the ICOM IC706 Mark II G, is on third place of my favorite gear this year. This radio is a workhorse. It is an awesome radio to just play around with. It simply just works, not the same way as the DigiRig is. And I'm just gonna bump this to get some pictures up behind me again. It just works. It's an ICOM radio. It's built like a tank. It's got 100 watts. It's relatively compact. And it's my favorite 100 watt portable radio. Let's put it that way. Um, I probably could have gone for an 891 or something like that, but I really like the 706. And furthermore, the 706 got two meters and 70 centimeters as well, which allows me to participate in those two meters and 70 centimeter contests that are happening. So third place, the IC706 Mark II G. And that leaves me on to the second place of this list. And the second place of this list is something that until about a month ago, I didn't expect to be on the list, actually. It's one of those products that I really wanted to try for a while. I don't really had the guts to buy it myself, but when AliExpress offered to sponsor me with a Zygu G106, I figured, why not? It's one of those radios I've been curious about all the way since I saw my Kate MRD over at Ham Radio Tube try that radio and actually 
completely trash it. But the radio with its current firmware is a really good QRP radio. It's not without its flaws, but it's at a really, really perfect price point for beginners. And furthermore, it's about eight watts, not five watts. So a little bit more watts for the money than you thought you'd have. That's always good. It's user friendly, it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistle, but that means that it's easy to use for a beginner. It's also relatively compact and I can power it with a power bank. So when you wanna do QRP, when you wanna do a little bit of a lighter kit, the G106 is a certain winner. And if you pair that with a DE19 Digimode interface, it's a perfect rig. I got a review video on that as well. I'll link it up here, down here, as I've done with the other, other clips here. So, and there, is, there will also be a link down below, um, an affiliate link on where you can buy the radio. And if you don't want to get it from AliExpress, that's fair. You can get it from anywhere, your favorite dealer. But the second place of my list for this year is the Saigu G106. So what's on first place, you might ask? Well, you've been looking at it behind me all through this video. And I gotta admit, this is something I didn't really think I'd have at this point of, let's call it my ham career. I've been looking at those flex radios and really wanted one, but I've always thought they're a little bit too expensive. But this summer, a fellow ham came over to me and said, you know what, I'm considering selling my flex. First I said no, as I usually do. Then I spent about two weeks thinking about it. Then I spent another week doing a budget on what I could sell to afford the Flex. And before I knew it, I had a Flex 6300 and a Maestro. The Maestro is something I don't really use that much anymore though, because once you get used to the whole experience of using an SDR radio, the PC interface, as you can see behind me here, is, is a lot better. And you can also use one of these, the Flex, uh, Flex Control, which is a VFO wheel and a couple of buttons. It's really, really easy to use this. And if you have a separate screen, it's almost like having a separate radio with a huge screen. The Flex also has possibilities for remote, and I'm gonna dive further into that with George, KJ6VU's uh, station controller this year. Um, I don't have the station controller yet. It's currently stuck in custom, so I'm, I'm hoping it'll be released soon. And I gotta bump the mouse again so you can just look at that Flex waterfall behind me. Um, and the Flex is really nice. I've been able to do radio from my phone from a laptop, from a tablet, from pretty much anywhere, as long as you have an internet connection and a compatible device. And yeah, the Flex, it just gives a whole new dimension to using radio in the shack. So the first spot of this year is my Flex 6300. So what do you think guys? What do you think about this list? Are these good things? Should I've had some other things like an HT or an antenna in the, in the top five? I don't know, I spent a, spent a long while figuring out what to have on this list and I figured these are the gadgets that I've enjoyed the most this year. Besides that, I've enjoyed a whole lot more gadgets and you can see that if you just check my back catalog. I got a lot of videos back there and uh, I love gear, I love using the gear, and most of all, I love portable radio, but the Flex has given operating in the shack, and for that sake, from a hotel room, a whole new dimension. It doesn't really matter where I am with the Flex. I can use it wherever I am, and it feels like using my radio. This summer, I did front of house audio at a gig, and between sound check and the gig, well, what did I do? I flipped up a laptop and <laughs> used the Flex. So number one again, the Flex radio. Hope you like this video. Hope you like this list. If you liked it, click that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, you know the drill. And um, I'll see you down the bands. I'll see you in my next video. Happy New Year, everyone, 73. Oh, and if you watch this far, there's one runner up that's gotta be there though. And that's the Little Dude 6 by Ham Radio Dude. If you don't have a 6 meter carbon fiber mast, that turns out to be yay big. 
go ahead and get one. You can get them over at Ham Radio Dude on Ham Radio Dude Sells, I think it is, on Etsy. I'll also link that down below. Thanks once again, 73.